Americans watch NBC News than any other news organization in the world. The news at 11 starts right now. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica Geary sitting in for Vicki Wynn tonight. And I'm Terry McSweeney. We're following developing news out of San Francisco where safe drug injection sites are now off the table. Governor Brown vetoed a bill that would have allowed San Francisco to open clinics where drug addicts could safely inject drugs. Late tonight, the governor says he simply doesn't believe it will reduce addiction in part because there is no requirement that people seek treatment. He also pointed to federal laws which ban the sites Supporters say it would have cut down on overdoses and gotten drugs off the street. San Francisco Mayor London Breed issued a statement just a short time ago on this decision. And here's part of what it says. I'm disappointed that the governor has vetoed this important public health bill. Safe injection sites have lives, save lives. If we are going to prevent overdoses and connect people to services and treatment that they badly need to stop using drugs in the first place, we need safe injection sites. Our investigative unit has examined safe injection sites already in operation in Vancouver. To see what we uncovered, just go to NBCBayArea.com slash investigations. Now to our other top story, work underway at the troubled Transbate Transit Center to try to figure out what to do with those two cracked steel beams. NBC Bay Area City Quintana is live with the details. They're shoring it up. Now begins the work. Jessica, the crew members spent a pretty good part of the day setting up those massive jacks. You can see them right now, right there. They will be there while crews repair the two failed beams. It's a process that could take several days, but crews have not announced a specific time frame as to when it'll be completed. And On this